Hey internet, one of the members of the community that I did Vita with this year has just announced that he is hosting a contest to bring one YouTube creator to VidCon this year. It's called the Smudge Memorial VidCon Fellowship and is hosted by Steve Clark from Just Steve's channel. This video is my official application to that fellowship. So here we go. Hi, I'm Abby. I am a 25 year old creator from Maryland and I make videos here on this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash and I've been making them since January 15th, 2013. Over the years, I have tried my hand at lots of different genres of content. I've made educational videos, I've made comedy sketches, I've made covers and original songs, I've made short artsy videos, and I've done lots of vlogs. My favorite type of video to make is the kind of video that sparks a conversation. I like to turn on the camera and talk about a topic that I've been thinking about, and then invite people to continue the discussion down in the comments. Over the past year, I've made videos on what the concept of home means, whether or not failure is bad, why people should vote, and I've made several videos on how the internet, and specifically YouTube, have affected our lives. Every year I like to set goals for myself on YouTube, and this year I've made two of them. Make meaningful content and make meaningful connections. This is where VidCon comes in. I've been dreaming of going to VidCon for years, but living on the East Coast makes this logistically difficult. Last year, I was ready to buy tickets, but the plans ended up falling through. Ask anybody who knows me, they are getting sick and tired of hearing about YouTube and VidCon. This year, I'm in an even more financially restrictive situation, so... It's just really not feasible for me to fund a trip to California on my own, no matter how optimistic I try to be. Why do I want to go to VidCon, though? Well, this year particularly, pretty much every larger creator that I admire is going to be there. I would love to get the chance to hear them discuss their experiences on YouTube and talk about topics that are important to me, like representation and building community and how to use the YouTube platform to make positive change in the world. In addition to the featured creators, I am very interested in making connections with smaller creators. I think that there are a lot of really interesting things that can happen within smaller communities, and I would love to form relationships with people who are willing to explore that avenue of creation. So at VidCon, I would want to learn as much as I could about how to make my content better, and how to reach my audience in a deeper and more meaningful way. I would look forward to gathering inspiration and ideas from other creators, both large and small. This may seem like a smaller thing, but I have talked a lot in past videos about how this year I'm trying to go through a journey of personal growth and finding ways to challenge myself. And I think that the opportunity to go to VidCon is an amazing way to challenge myself to take on new experiences and to meet as many people as I can. As far as which communities I am most involved in, far and beyond I am most involved with the Arondanat community. And I may be biased, but I think it is the best community community here on YouTube. I do my best to participate in any way that I can with the Around and Not community, whether it be participating in Vita, or watching the Patreon and Twitch live streams, or being a part of the Around and Not hangout that just happened this weekend, or just being an active commenter on the What I'm Doing Right Now videos. Being an active member of the community is something that I've been working on really hard the past couple months and is relatively new to me, but it is quickly becoming my newest passion. In addition to the What I'm Doing Right Now channel, I've been trying to be an active commenter on several several other channels like Tessa Violet's channel, Kick the PJ, Miss Fender, and obviously the Vlogbrothers. Just as importantly though, I've been working on building my own community of smaller creators. I am committed to developing a network that is an interactive and supportive space. So how would I capture this trip on video? Well, as I mentioned before, I am no stranger to vlogs. I've vlogged tons of stuff and I intend to fully thoroughly vlog the VidCon trip if I'm chosen to attend. On top of vlogging the trip though, I am going to be starting a project that you will hear about next week that deals with the microcosms of community on YouTube, and more specifically, how that affects individuals. My intention for this project is to look at what works and what doesn't work in communities, and what makes them stronger and what makes them weaker. But more specifically, how are these communities changing people's lives, whether it be through making friends or getting involved with projects or finding a new thing that they are interested in. I've already got several components of this project in the works, but by the time VidCon rolls around, I will be in full swing. Getting the chance to go to VidCon would greatly expand the scope of this project. I can talk to people who are in different communities than I'm involved in, different communities than the people I know are involved in. The connections and the stories and the interviews that I could get at VidCon could just absolutely blow this project out of the water and make it everything that I want it to be. I want to use this project to create a discussion on YouTube about communities, and I think that going to VidCon could push this project to a whole nother level. So I've talked a whole lot now about why I want to go to VidCon, so let's get to the nitty gritty, the how. 
I happen to be in a very fortunate situation where two weeks is totally enough notice for me to take off and get the chance to go to VidCon. I've already looked at my schedule and determined that it would be no problem to make the trip to Anaheim. I'm also very used to traveling. My sleeping conditions are often a sleeping bag on the ground or a bunk bed in a hostel. I would hardly consider meager lodging and food accommodations to be an inconvenience and rather just part of the whole experience. Finally, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but I really, really desperately want to go to VidCon. I live over 3,000 miles away from the convention and travel can get potentially costly. Of course, I would be grateful if there was enough money to cover my travel costs. But if the people choosing the creator for this fellowship want to choose me, I refuse to let the travel costs stand in the way. I can guarantee that any cost left over after the Indiegogo campaign will get covered. Basically, if you decide that I'm the creator that you want to bring to VidCon, I will not let distance be the thing that prevents that from happening. Thank you so much for considering me for this fellowship. I hope I have been able to express just how much this opportunity would mean for me and how I would love to use this to make more meaningful content and more meaningful connections. For those of you who are watching and want to know more about the fellowship, I will leave links in the description below for the Indiegogo campaign that is being used to raise additional funds. Please help Steve out by sharing the links on whatever social media site you want even if you can't afford to give. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.